away from your pre-med goals, but, but just to say that you, you could do what you want. And in the summit earlier, I thought the panelists did a great job of saying that it doesn't matter what you do as long as you do it well, right? That's what those Asian parents want. They want you to do it well. So if you're a yo-yo a person, but you're the best yo-yo person in the world, I'm sure your parents will be happy, right? So if you put your passion into it, <laughs> weird example, sorry. Um, just if you put your passion into it, the best that you could do, then why can't you do what you want? Um, you guys want another piece? Yeah. Yeah. So um, today, so that was one thing that I really wanted to kind of get out there, you know, to inspire you guys to do what you want to do. And another one is not for your future, but for your past. Um, I've heard a lot of, ah, yeah, I'm Vietnamese American, kind of, you know, more American than I am Vietnamese. And I was the same way. I, I wasn't proud to be Vietnamese until probably maybe last year. Um, and I talked to someone just before the show, and he's like, no, yeah, I, I haven't really gotten into the whole Vietnamese thing. Wasn't ever really proud. Because, I mean, there are so many famous people, Asians. How many of those were Vietnamese? What did we have to look up to, right? That's what I thought. There's no way. Vietnamese uh, martial artist or Vietnamese singer who's really, really awesome, like Psy. <laughs> um, so I, I really just asked my mom, it's like, why, why do I have to be proud to be, be Vietnamese? What do I have to be proud of? I don't have anyone to look up to. It's probably the biggest mistake of my life that I told my mom that anyway. Because she said, why can't you look up to me? This one again is for my mom, but in a whole different way. <laughs> Ayo, chinky eyes. Chopsticks. Egg roll. Karate kid. I thought I was all of it. That's all that they would call me, so I thought that was all of me. They told me my chinky eyes couldn't see, so I proceeded to live blindly. They tease my family tree how its roots are Vietnamese, so I swept my parents' past behind me. Because it's their culture, not mine, right? Preserving culture, mom, is not tight. Because if it's your culture, why should I fight? I'm an American, mom. Get your mind right. And that's what I wanted to be defined as. Because back then, American already meant high class. Being an American meant that I could bypass any new Asian kid, get to the line and last. And mom, get away with that eyeglass. No, I wanted contact. Stop talking about my eyesight. Can we talk about this boring brown hair? Can I please get some highlights? And no, mom, I don't care to watch another Paris by night. You can disapprove all you want, but I'm an American mom. I can exercise my rights. But what do I have left now as an American but my 2020 hindsight? I kept thinking to myself, I didn't need a prescription. And now 12 years later, I'm finally able to see through your vision. To finally shut my mouth. To shut my American eyes too proud to let my Vietnamese side live out loud. But I don't want you to get me wrong. I love what my parents have done. Leaving their own nation, accepting this cultural amalgamation with no hesitation. For me. For my opportunities so that I can grow up too arrogant to even call myself Vietnamese American. He said, we work hard so that you can have fun. She said, honey, take this bright future and run. But no, mom and dad, I am not done. To the rest of the second generation, I'm just saying we can't forget Vietnam because we can't know where we're going unless we know where we're from. Maybe the American sun has turned my hair a slight brown, but I am damn proud to announce that these roots grow back jet black deep down. I can't possibly be the only one who thinks that Tylenol sometimes just can't beat your son. <laughs> that awful green bottle you used to hate that would save you when you had a stomach ache in the third grade, or when you said your head hurt in the middle of church and mom pulls it out of her purse? And they ask me, why do Asians love karaoke so much? You know all the songs, you choose it. But no, you've got it all wrong. It's not even about the music. I sing along not because I love the song. It's part of my culture.
culture, not my choice. Because when we sing, we are all uniting our desperate attempts to become one voice. Because that's all they know us for. Oh, you're from Vietnam? I've heard of that war. That country stopped in chaos for so long. Yield to people who can't help but to stay strong. To hold on to the dark coffee breaks on Sunday mornings. To bargain for what we buy because, honey, we are getting our money's worth. To having such a big family that everybody's had his time with that one hand-me-down shirt. To being bitten by massive ants because you were stealing jackfruit from the neighbor's tree. Or knowing your parents' friends for so long that you start to think maybe they are family. Yeah. To that good old sibling rivalry. So when you kneel against the wall together, that's when you bond. <laughs> to the owie eye that's really a team effort to put on. So when you think your mom couldn't possibly yell any louder, and she gives you the death glare for not greeting your elders. To knowing the perfect amount of hoisin and sriracha to put in your pho. <laughs> to you better hurry and eat your noodles, jukina na. <laughs> I'm sorry, is it weird that I just spoke Vietnamese? Because we're not supposed to do that in public, now are we? Remember the last time at Walmart Dad called for you loudly? How embarrassing, their accents are so heavy, it's really taking a toll, and you look at your American friends, how lucky you just want to switch roles, but you're forgetting that that broken English is what makes you whole. But it's totally fine. You've been there before. You can be ashamed of who you are, just don't blame it on Vietnam, because your parents have come too far for you to disrespect where they came from. You are not justified. I don't care how many times you've been called too smart or four eyes, those blind bullies, did they raise you? Because you're using the same mindset that they gave you. You hate yourself only because they hate you. Look at what these close-minded people have made you. Because if I can be a bully, my dad, my mom, and me in one poetry piece, the least you could do is close your eyes and choose who you want to be. Don't you worry about them. They see what they want to see. Yeah, that's childish. And it's just humanity. I know not everything's in your hands, but you should try to reach and change what you can. As for me, I'm not closing my eyes, because this part I want to see, because I am proud of who we've come to be. But I won't stop until the day where these teenage girls and guys can say that they don't need to close their eyes to make a conscious decision. We are not afraid to be proud of that family tree. As Americans, I know that we are free, but damn right, we choose to be Vietnamese. Thank you.